Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Chef Paul. I'm the chef at Glendale Heights and at the Merchant Lake Smart Showroom. I just went ahead and made some sliders for everybody. I need to clean my griddle. Very, very simple, very, very easy to do. Let's get right into it. Uh, before I start, the griddle was at 450, but I had it off for about uh, 20 minutes, 20 to 15 minutes, just to kind of cool it down. You want a nice little warm temperature, but not completely cold to help smooth out the process. The only tools that I need here today, as you can see, is kind of uh, a buffing pad, a almost a, a drywall kind of material, and uh, a abrasive, some paper towel, a little bit of canola oil, and this paddle, and a scraper. So let's get right into it. The griddle is still warm. I'm gonna go ahead and use the scraper to pick off any kind of stuck uh, cheese. I had some cheese on there, maybe a little fond or some, some burger slider that was kind of stuck and caramelized to the bottom. I'm going to scrape majority of that off and drop it all into my tray here. As you can see, I split up the zones. This was for my buns, that was for my burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of it though. Scrape everything down into the removable tray. Really quickly, I'm gonna show everyone. This can be a little bit, a little warm after use. So I go ahead and use a nice dry towel. Very simple to remove. You take that out, dispose of the oil easily or any debris, and then you're ready to go. Let it cool off, throw a cover on, come back to it some other day. But now I wanna clean it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of canola oil to it. Remember, this is still warm. It's about 150 degrees to about 200. I'm going to use the handle as well as the rougher, ah, the rougher abrasive. And I'm just kind of getting in there and using both arms with a little bit of that oil. And just as you can see, it easily comes right off. So this is only going to take a couple minutes really quickly, start to finish. The handle lets you get a good leverage on what you want to clean. Super, super simple. Get all those little corners as much as you can. As you can see, that was what, 20, 30 seconds? And we're almost already done, believe it or not. What I like to do, here's a little chef tip. I like to go a little crosshatch pattern at a 45 degree angle, going back and forth. So that the final product, it looks like you have a, kind of a, a diamond, a diamond pattern on your griddle. Now I'm gonna go this way. Still warm, so be careful a little bit. Now we get to the ends. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the thicker or the coarser abrasive that I was using. Now I'm gonna go to the buffing pad. This is gonna help me kind of any little scratches that may have been left behind just to buff them out and make it look a little bit, a little bit neater for everybody. So now again, I'm gonna go back and forth. Other side. And before you know it, believe it or not, we're done. One more little step. Look at that, the griddle is already almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and use that disposable dry towel that I have to remove any excess oil that I had on top of the griddle. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Clean, very, very clean, easy, quick. Now, I'm now one little final step towards the end. I'm gonna take a dry paper towel with a little bit of fresh canola oil and just a very, very thin layer back on there. So next time when you turn your griddle on, it seasoned it and it's ready to keep that non-stick surface for your cooking needs. That's cleaning the griddle. That was easy and fast. Thank you very much. Have a good day.